everybody, how's it going? Daniel here. Today, I'm pretty excited to check out the iPhone 12 mini. Now this is the green color. We're going to be unboxing all the colors and we have them right here, but we're starting off with the green. Then we will go in order. So this is the beginning of a playlist. If you want to see the other ones, they'll be down below in the description or uh, on the channel. But yeah, this is the green one right here. Of course, the box, we have some slight green accents, very minty green right here. Of course, we have green signature wallpaper right there and nothing very special here. This retails for $730 or around there. Some carriers have some deals and stuff, but around the $700 mark. And uh, let's take a look at this here. When I unboxed the iPhone 12s, this was a very surprising color because I thought it was super nice and I do still think it is. This looks like a mini little candy, little candy bar. It's just so tiny and small and it looks so nice with the color that uh, I can see this being a huge winner. If you're looking into the mini, this green color looks super, super nice. We'll be putting cases on it very soon to check that out. So feel free to skip around in the tiny, tiny little box. When I say tiny, I mean tiny. Like here, right here, we have the size of the 12 Pro right there. So you can get an idea of how small this box is and uh, how small this phone is right there. We're gonna get a lightning to USB-C. Then we're also gonna get a little thing here with a SIM eject tool and an Apple sticker. Not much in here, I mean, not much at all. You will have to buy a uh, charging block or use one of the ones you have, but okay. And the most important thing here, the color, the size. How is it? How does it look? How does it feel? It feels great. It feels a bit too small. I have a little bit above average hands. Size is, you know, as far as the size goes. So the 12 Pro is the perfect size for me. The 11 Pro size and the 10, 10 S size, which is slightly uh, smaller than the 11 Pro, was a little bit lacking in size. Like I wanted something a little bit bigger. So this year's was perfect. But I think overall, this was the perfect size for a lot of people, that 10 S size, that 10 size. You can see that there, how much smaller than even the 10 and 10 S it is. And also for another comparison, here is the iPhone SE, which a lot of people have and might be upgrading from. And this is not even the SE, this is the size of the SE, but this is the iPhone 7. So if you're upgrading from that, here's what you can expect right here. It's a little bit even smaller than that, which I honestly wish it would have been the exact same size as the iPhone 7 and SE, but you are gonna get still a larger screen even in the smaller form factor. So let's go ahead and remove the film here. And let's check out the screen. Let's turn it on real quick. Just for comparison's sake, let's see if this old broken phone boots up. Yeah, there we go. And you can see that there. You're gonna get a full screen this time around with the 12 mini. Of course, you're gonna have face ID instead of touch ID from the older gen. So if you still like touch ID, then the SE is still the way to go. But you can see that you basically get a full screen mini phone, which is great. It's just as powerful as the 12 Pro, the 12 Max and all that. And uh, all in this tiny little form factor, which I think is just great for like most people out there. If you just use your phone for, you know, looking at text and calls and just consuming media and all that, but you don't need to carry around a huge screen, then this is amazing because it fits like in any pocket. It fits even in those little side pockets and purses and all that. So I think it's incredible to have a little phone like this and uh, it would pair nicely if you have an iPad to do some larger things and stuff. But you can see that there from the front, how the screen size is compared to the 12 Pro, also the size of the iPhone 12. Let me go ahead and turn the brightness down here. And yeah, this is a little bit too small for me. I feel like almost like my hands are cramping up a little bit, just like I wanna squeeze it just because it doesn't fit right in my hand. But also could be just getting used to the fact that I like a slightly larger phone. Now I don't like big phones because if we compare it here to the Max, let's pull this out of here. And will you look at that? It is gigantic. Look at the size difference. I mean, holy moly, is that huge. So let's right here, we'll have both of them here. And again, if you have the iPhone 7, you can see how big of a difference that is there. So you get an even smaller phone, but a larger screen, which I think is a winning combination. And it's also priced very fairly. It's a very doable price compared to $1,100 for something like the Pro Max or a thousand for the Pro. So I think the winners this year are definitely the 12 and the 12 mini. 
And between those two, it really just depends. Do you want a slightly smaller phone that's gonna fit in a back pocket, in a front pocket, in like a little mini pocket, and a jacket. A phone that you can basically hold like this and move around and not feel like you're gonna drop it um, because it's so easy to maneuver. It just feels like you can flip this up in the air about a hundred times and never drop this thing, which is just incredible. So now one thing I wanna do is show you guys how this looks while texting and calling. Of course, it's gonna be very tiny, so you can see that it looks like I might be like struggling to text just with how small it is. But the screen honestly is large enough where like I really, unlike I've seen people, like older people, the iPhone SE, and they'll like magnify the screens and everything for text to look bigger and then things begin to like swish down. Since the screen is larger, I think that's gonna work better. So even if you do prefer a smaller phone and you need that text to be better and larger, this is gonna work better than even an iPhone SE and that, even though it is a smaller form factor, but I think it's really great. So that's how it is there. If I'm calling, there you can see it relative to my head, how it looks and my fingers and everything. Does it look like I have a tiny phone or does it look fine? I do not know. I cannot see the screen. Is it even focused on me? I don't know. Hmm. But there it is, quite small. Let me show you here that green, and I don't know why it's trying to focus in the back, and uh, different lighting there. It's a minty green, very nice subtle green that I think a lot of people are gonna like. It's gonna look great with cases, and it doesn't attract too much attention, which is also nice. So there you can see it, iPhone 12 mini in this mint green color. It's just called green, but it's definitely mint green. So now let's go ahead and move on to the case portion of this video so I can show you everything the cases here real quick. And we have a lot of cases. I don't think I'm gonna go through all of these. I'm just gonna pick and choose some that I think will work well with this. I don't think uh, this, let's just put this one cause I don't think it goes well, but real quick so we can get rid of it. Yeah, I know. But the idea of it is cool. This will look cool with black or something, but you can see that there. Now let's go ahead. And most importantly, the first one I wanna show is definitely the Apple leather case. So you can see that there, cause this one supports MagSafe. And you can see how that looks with mint green. I think this leather case just really goes with any color. You can put the wallet on there. And then you have this mini tiny little phone. Even with the wallet, it still feels tiny and really nice in the hand. It's so great. I think a lot of, oh, I think I activated. There we go. I think a lot of people are gonna love that. You can see some of those accents that are slightly green here around the case which looks very neat. And that is that case. Let me show you just the wallet without the leather case in case you're interested in that. There you go. It almost comes out of the sides a little bit. It's almost asking for the case to be on it for a perfect fit. It's good enough there. Um, but yeah, it comes off like that. At least you can still kind of grab it off from the side, so that's fine. And you can see it's almost as small as an actual wallet. It's crazy, it's a very small phone. Now let's go ahead and try a matte black case on here. So you can see this. This is a very thin case from the folks over at Totally. And I'm, I should have put the bottom in first. Here we go, there we go, and it snaps on. Something like this I think really complements the iPhone 12 and the 12 mini, just because the matte finish here on the camera lens is something that I love and it looks great and it matches well with a matte case. You can still see some of the green accents around there. And this one does slightly basically hide some of that aluminum trim around it, but it still looks really good. One of the things that's great is that you can put a huge case on this phone, like gigantic case on this phone, and it's not gonna make it gigantic. You're still gonna be able to hold it and maneuver it. So for example, this is a pretty bulky case with a screen protector built in. So. Definitely something that makes the 12 Pro, the 12 and the 12 Max much bigger. But with this phone, it might make it just even easier to grip. So now I have something that feels much better in my hand. It fits better and feels a little bit more comfortable because the other one was a bit too small in my hand. So that's something to keep in mind. And that actually still looks quite good with that black and green. So just something to keep in mind. All right, let's try out this Aramid fiber case, which is basically like a carbon fiber case, the way that it looks. And you can see that there. Big fan of this one too, looks great. Get rid of that glossy finish on the back, gives you a matte finish. Slightly better grip, I feel, it feels better. And you can see how that looks. And let's just go ahead and finish this off with any cuts, let me show you the rest here. This is a leather case from the folks over at Muyo. Slightly different to Apple's, it's nice and soft leather compared to Apple's. Apple's is a little harder leather, but it looks great with this black leather case. Honestly, it looks awesome. This leather just feels really great, very soft. I highly recommend these guys. They make some great leather cases. Last but not least, 
slightly thicker case again, but to show you that this green color matches very nicely with both black cases and uh, even pink tones and this kind of marble look, it just matches very well and um, overall has a very nice aesthetic. And I can't get to this one. It snaps on here on the front and it comes in on here and there. So fully protected phone, still a very nice and small phone. You can see how well that green matches up with these cases. It just looks great. Overall, don't sleep on the green color. I think if you're interested in green, you're gonna love this color and it's definitely a color to uh, keep in mind and consider when looking into the 12 mini. But that pretty much sets it all for this video. Make sure to leave a like, that always helps. And I'll catch you guys in all the other unboxings. Goodbye.